Honourable Dr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman, I only wish to make a very brief contribution. But I was so taken back by the words of wisdom of Sue Gedgley. She said, this bill is so outrageous, it makes legal what would otherwise be illegal. What the bills do? Well, actually, I have to advise the member, every single bill that this parliament passes is intended to make legal what otherwise would be illegal. That is the very business of this parliament, I have to advise Sue Kidgley. And so the words of outrage that if you didn't pass this bill, things would be illegal was quite an extraordinary contribution from the member. The second point I'd like to challenge the member is that the whole government's agenda is because the Environment Canterbury Council is stopping big projects in Canterbury happening. Well, I say to the member, which big projects and with what? Because the truth is the Environment Canterbury Council has no plans for water. 18 years after the passage of the Resource Management Act, we still do not have a resource management plan for water. And could I ask members on any side of the House, regardless of whether you come from a development or an environmental perspective, how are the interests of New Zealand served by not having a plan? Is it really the position of the Greens party and the members opposite that we don't need a plan for water for Canterbury? Because I make absolutely no apologies, nor do my government colleagues and the parties that are supporting us that are saying, look, the issue of water in Canterbury is critical. We need to get a plan in place. The council has had 18 years. They have not done it. It is time for government to take a lead, and that's why we have this bill. <coughs> I call...